Okay, there we go. Oh, let me turn this down a little bit. Let's see. Okay, let's go to this. Okay. Who are you playing against here? Ryle. I don't know who this is. Thanks everyone for tuning in. This one's a little bit more of a <clears throat> less organized Pompeii. I mean, a lot of other things we kind of had to focus on this week. Talks for uh, temp merges with NM49. Uh, we had more pods members merging uh, or coming into the region to merge in. Uh, some old players that we had also that had quit the game a long time ago <laughs> managed to come back yesterday too so it's just been a crazy week but yeah, hopefully it'll be fun should be good
Good start. Good start. Uh, yeah, I, I typically do the uh, optimized mode, but I figured that like <laughs> my marches are already down here anyways, and I can fix it when I'm not in the middle of fighting them. So as I'm kind of walking back to base here in a second or moving towards another objective, then I'll uh, I'll turn it on uh, optimized mode. It's not too bad in Pompeii because it's not usually too many troops. I definitely use it in like AR, I, uh, Island Raid, Archipelago, that kind of thing. So I definitely use it. I usually wait till the game like kicks in and tells me that like I need it and it pops up with a thing. But yeah, I know. Targeting troops a little bit easier. There's not too many, so it's still fairly easy to just find the right ones. Okay, is there anything going on here? Nope, nope, nope. Okay. <laughs> I know, for real. Archipelago and Island Raid for sure gets very hectic. Especially when you're fighting for the zombies at the level 8 and stuff. I hear you. I think my game volume is a little bit too, too loud. Let me know if I need to turn, whether it be game volume or the music down or anything. Just let me know. I can do that. We're going to skip the fighting here. We're just going to go for this. <coughs> okay, we already got this side as well. Good. Should be able to break this one pretty quick. I think. Yeah, we'll be fine. We got it. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's weird. It's like the first time we haven't gotten G1 in a long time, and it's like the G1 that everyone's been waiting for. So it's been kind of crazy. G1's going to be a fun one to watch. I think that most of my stream itself will actually be watching G1. Uh, hold on. Let me take these out. Um, what are we going to do? What was I talking about? Um, yeah, 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 a lot of it will be watching G1. Uh, G2, what we're in is a little bit odd again. Kind of the hard part about G2 is that Boone actually has, like, families or ally friends, I guess, in both Jade and, or not Jade, but Crimson and Azure. And we're in Azure. So, um... They're going to try to hit that thing. Oh, shit. Whoops. Wrong one. Uh, 
Um, yeah, they have friends in all of the, uh, or in both Azure and Crimson. So I'm not too certain what it's going to look like or how hard Boone is going to try to approach it. I'm hoping that like it's a fun one because the last archipelago raid that we had with Boone was kind of similarly set up in a sense that I think uh, it was kind of like organized. We didn't really end up fighting to the extent that we could have because they kind of allied up against uh, gold since they were like allies or family with them or whatever. So I'm hoping this one will be at least a little bit more eventful, but even if it's not, at least G1 will be eventful to watch. Oh, nice. Did H&B do a, uh, a merger as well between a few alliances into H&B like they did in Island Raid? Because didn't, didn't they do that in Island Raid, or was that another alliance that did that? I thought ROK like merged into them or something like that. Oh, wait. Fuck, I got to go this way, huh? troops do we have a rally going we do it's on three minutes standby though okay so we should have that we're fine cool okay yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I thought yeah, Island Raid was kind of odd because of that. <laughs> I don't know, we kind of just had like DHX knocking on our door because nobody on the island wanted to fight DHX. And so they kind of just went around looking for fights. They had pretty much told us like, oh, we're just going to put ROK and their allies on their helipads. And then you guys can take the 6 and the 7 or whatever. And then so we're like, okay, you know, like we're... We obviously can't really contest DHX on our own, and nobody else wants to fight them, so I guess we're going to have to listen to that. And then, um, and then, yeah, they ended up coming up and fighting us anyways, but it's all good. But this ARs. Oh, nice. Okay, so it is fairly balanced. That's good. That's good, yeah. G1, I think G1 will be a fun one to watch in general, whether G2 is action-packed or not, which it probably won't be. At least, uh, at least G1 will be a good one. Give me one sec, though. My daughter's asking for something real quick. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Little one going to the bathroom. We're good. Uh, let me read, please. The blacklist not. Oh shit, she's not, huh? Whoops. How long until this rally is out here? My goodness. Well, just need a back cap, I think. Oh, we got him. Okay. I'm just waiting for this rally. I didn't realize that it was on a two-minute standby. I saw that, but I didn't process that. They should have that one back. This rally will come out here in a minute. Yeah, here it comes. 
Oh, dude, I'm just gonna kill off my bell real quick so I can resend it. It was weird when they attacked your alliance. We were all shocked. Yeah, no, we were, uh, we were in the same boat. Um, but they did it, and then the messages after the fact were, oh, we just want points and stuff. And so I was like, all right, well, you know, I mean, you guys are a Titan alliance. You guys came out here, and nobody wants to fight you guys, so I can't really blame you. So, I mean, it is what it is. We weren't, we're not mad or upset about it at all. It's all chill. Chillin', chillin'. Are they trying to fight this? Oh, they are. Look at that. Okay, I think these guys might need help on this. No, do they? Maybe. Yeah, I think they do. We'll go help him. You want some more water? Yeah, here you go, brother. It was fun. It was fun. I mean, we ate, what was it, like six Safe Me rallies. And uh, to our shock and surprise, they didn't burn our tower at all. Like, they couldn't break it. So, it was uh, it was fun. It was a fun learning experience. We, uh, we enjoyed it, even though it hurt. <laughs> like a motherfucker. Um... Sorry for cussing, but uh, yeah, no, no, no. It was it was a lot of fun. It was a, it was a lot of fun. Uh, and the trades were not too bad actually. We definitely had a lot more wounded than them, but we actually, in most of the reports, caused more deaths to them than they did to us. So in that sense, yeah, it was it was fun. Like, this was the last one that lasted. I think how long was this? Like an hour or something? Yeah, a little bit over an hour. And it looks brutal up front, but, I mean, we caused more deaths to them. So, yeah, I mean, it, it was chill. It was fun. What do you ask for? Probably about as good of a trade as we could have had or as good a trade as we could have taken, so. Oh, run. Come back. Yeah, I mean, we had a, f we had a few of them like that. Uh, like this one, we actually ended up pulling him ahead. When he used his infantry one, I mean, his infantry is still stacked to shit. But, I mean, we traded better than them on that one. The rider was a similar one as well. It was just his range. I mean, his range was fucking us up. But it's kind of to be expected. Julia is just busted right now into garrisons because you don't really have a counter for the silence factor. So, yeah, I mean, all, all things considered, it was about as good as it could have gone, so. Uh, yeah, they definitely do. Um, however, um, Save Me is kind of an anomaly, right? Where if we were to garrison against an alliance of our size or of our strength or even, you know, stronger than us, like a, a little bit stronger than us maybe, um yeah regoro riven would be this the the selection no doubt in archipelago since we're taking multi rallies it's the selection but an island an island raid where it was only like one rally into us um 
it didn't really make sense to go anything but thunder because we needed the damage reduction just because safe me does an insane amount of damage and he has high damage reduction as well so he doesn't take as much damage so we just needed to survive as long as possible so rally out real quick Trying to reset my marches and do as much to them as possible. Let these marches reset. There we go. And then for this one, actually, Johnny's already the lead, so I could just take him out. But yeah, like I said, I mean, even though it was Save Me Rallies, it was probably about as fun as it could have been. Come on, Eddie, hurry up. Four minutes. Okay. We should have that filled, hopefully, here. Yeah, we'll be fine. In the meantime, let's go take the other shit. Six hundred to two sixty. Actually, yeah, I think if we just focus this, I'd be okay. Did the rally go down already? Oh no, there it is. Oh, you know, let's just chop. Let's chop some marches up. Send it back to base. How do I have Eddie's talent for the battlefield? To be honest with you, it's probably... Actually, you know what? Yeah, it is. It is it's actually meant for the battlefield and um, rallies. Give me one second. I got you. I'll, I'll share talent on it. I had to cut their wheels marches real quick. He's the one swarming our shit.
mean, sure, man. If you want to swarm me, go for it. I think we have middle control, so just cut this rally real quick. And that should be the end of that rally, I think. Yep, okay, cool. Let's just keep him occupied here. It's all good if he kills my marches. I'm trying to keep him off of middle because this spawns in 25 seconds. So the more of them I keep here, the less of them that are in middle. So just keep him here. Um, in the meantime, Eddie, this is what I have for his talent tree here. Take damage control, infantry guard, endurance. And wild rage and then I actually take this futile resistance because even though it's in the uh, the rally tree or the siege tree it doesn't have a siege requirement so it gives some travel speed or whatever have you but 10% reduced squad counter damage and it is not limited to just being in a rally so it's pretty solid so that works in field or rally so then I don't really have to change out my um, talents So, yeah. Anyways, that's how I build mine. Did we get the... We did. He's running with it. Run, poison, run. Okay. Probably just hold these guys here with the last two marches, I guess. Cool. Poison, she is out, so we should be good. Yeah, let's just walk with Eddie so then he does counter damage. We'll turn him around to suicide him. Wait, why is the thing still out? Hello? I don't think Elf Hunter knows that you can just bring it into a building. But it looks like he's going to get out, so it's fine. It's still scary. Yeah, he's fine.
Swarm it. Swarm it. You guys got this. Swarm it. Oh, they're going to go for the reinforcing troops now. Smart. They're learning. They're learning. this one. I'm going to lose this point, I mean. That's fine, though. What do we got here? 10 minutes. It'll be 20 or 15. So, group here at... Just defend here, that's fine. <coughs> Don't need you though. Lead force. Trying to re-promote here. That works. Alright, this one's going to be coin flip, so we'll see. Oh, yeah, no, we got that. See ya. Nice, we got both of them as well. Nice. Get okay, last capsule. Shit, 12 people. There's more people tuning in. Thanks everyone for being here. Not the craziest Pompeii ever, but we're kind of experimenting with splitting into different alliances for the different time slots. We were trying to get more people into more time slots available and stuff like that. So, 
kind of filling in the other teams as well. So we don't we don't fully register with the forty. I don't remember how many do we have. We have yeah, we're at twenty eight. So twenty eight, twenty seven. So it's still fairly even on participation on both sides. Power was fairly even on both sides as well. So yeah, it's a decent one. It's probably not the most eventful of all. Now I think we just focus the time or the capsule, and I think we win. should be in the bag though. We need to retake that with a route if we need to. I mean, shit, brother, if you want to play like this, run it. I'm caught out. Call an ambulance. Call an ambulance. But not for me.
follow me. Let's run it then. their marches. Run, poison, run. I don't think he's going to make it. Yep, nope. We're going to need to hit his marches as well. Nope, you're not getting that. Nope. 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 Pukey's got it. Come on, Pukey. Go, Pukey, go. Come on, Pukey. Ah, oh, fuck. That is unfortunate. They might actually have this. No, nope, never mind. That guy is weak. Oh, poison's got it again. What the fuck? Oh, she's not going to get it. <laughs> we just want to get it there so bad. Oh, Pukey's got it again. Score. Let's go. Let's go. One more issue. Riven is more of a support or leader when garrisoned. Um, I would say support because her talents aren't the best for a Gallus garrison lead. The only exception that I would say in that case that I would ever maybe put her in the lead would be if I was pairing a Riven with a Victor. Um, I could see like where you would want to play Victor, but you want to have the Riven shields and all the rest of her kit at the same time. You could definitely make it work. But admittedly, she does not have the best talents in the game for Garrison because she does not have the Garrison tree, which brings so much to the Garrison field or the Garrison side of things. Um, so that's kind of completely at your discretion. Um, but I would say that the only scenario that I would personally run a Riven lead would be, um, yeah, if I have a uh, Victor secondary. Other than that, I will use Riven secondary behind Regoro or thunder each time and let me turn down the music real quick so yeah as for me at least the primary leads that i use are thunder and rigoro like i mentioned rigoro for multi rallies in ar or maybe anti-swarm and island raid if the alliance that we're going up against is crazy enough to do it um but mostly thunder um, an island raid, and then thunder and like one-on-one -on -one, uh, trades, so garrison versus one rally. Um, 
I still like Thunder a lot on Garrison and AR anyways, just because of the damage reduction when taking, you know, multi-rallies too, so it's very situational. Um, and then secondary, I'll use, you know, Victor, Jacob, Riven, Louie, um, even some situations where I've used Eddie for secondary, it really just depends. Thanks for the stream, guys. Thanks for the world. Um, unfortunately, like, I don't want to, like, put, like, personal inf information out there or nothing, so I'm not going to, like, go into detail about it, but, um, just because, you know, he can definitely talk about it when he comes back, but Brain is out dealing with, um, health issues currently, unfortunately. He, earlier this, within the last, like, six months, had some health issues come down. He had a lot of appointments to figure that stuff out, and then, as of recently, he had some new health stuff pop up that he is currently, um, you know, getting checked out and kind of working working through figuring out how serious it is or whatever kind of kind of needs to be done there so that's why he is currently not on or around it um as much also i think like right now would be 2 50 p.m for him so he's probably at work if he's not dealing with the health stuff or whatever so but yeah we miss him man hopefully he uh, gets better soon and they're able to figure everything out for him I like that guy a lot. Brain is a good one. Yeah, I mean, he'll probably talk about it on his stream and whatnot if anybody asks, like, why he's been out and stuff. So I will let him do the talking on behalf of all that. I don't know how much he wants to or share or whatever. It's, I wouldn't say it's anything like, oh, you got to keep it a secret. But I'll just let him kind of talk about it however he feels to do. So, yeah. See, just kind of getting this one to come to a close now. Does Zombie's boss spawn again? I don't remember. Does it? I don't think it does. Am I crazy? Yeah, just in case, come down here and kill some people, I guess. Their guy's been doing a lot. They have a, he's pretty strong. Uh, who would be better, Riven or Victor, for support of pairing him with Peterson? Um, I guess same thing, situationally. Um, I like Riven a lot. Um, I have used Victor, but it's very touch and go because I don't have him actually awakened yet. Very close, but not there yet because I spent all of my relics to get Riven awakened. Um... And I did that because at the time we didn't have much testing with Riven um, between Brain and I because Brain doesn't have Riven or Riven Awakened or whatever. Um, yeah, we didn't really have much testing to kind of see what her numbers looked like, if her kit was operating properly and stuff. Because right before Riven came out, um, we had that whole ordeal with the IGG, IGG devs where some of the heroes like Jonathan and Jacob weren't functioning properly with their skills. Um, so, uh, yeah, we were kind of more concerned about just kind of making sure that Riven was operating properly and stuff like that. Uh, we had a lot of whales and bigger players that reached out that had seen, um, the video that Brain and I had posted about Jacob and Jonathan not working. And so they had similar concerns like, Hey, is Riven operating properly? Like, is she going to be worth getting and stuff? So, uh, that kind of prompted for us to get Riven and awaken her first. Um, so I've personally used Riven for secondary and enjoyed her a lot. It does really well. Victor, I, I mean, you can just check out any of the whales and them garrisoning, and a lot of them use um, Victor secondary as well, too. So I would say that uh, if you were to pick one or the other, I don't think that you would be doing yourself any injustice. I think that you would, you would find some pretty good successes doing either or. So... Yeah. I think they both do really well. Hmm. 
this playlist is so weird. It's like some songs are way quiet and some songs are way loud. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Where are they coming from, baby? Oh yeah, no, no, we're uh, we're in G two, so we'll, we'll we'll be okay. Like I already know who our allies are and stuff like that. Like we'll be perfectly fine in G two. It's probably gonna be, it's probably with the way that everything is set up right now, gonna turn out to be a very passive or one sided. Uh, archipelago raid um yeah i don't know it's it's us and boone and some other stuff kind of in the works there so yeah, it'll be it'll be fairly chill so i think most of my stream and stuff like that will be covering the g1 fights and whatnot because that'll be probably where the most entertainment is anyways it's a really exciting g1 that i think everyone's been wanting which is having four titan alliances at least in g1 and we finally got it so yeah it should be a fun one to watch i'm excited for it but yeah you as well good luck in uh in AR. Hope everything goes well for you guys. Good luck on a victory. Appreciate you being here. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy to help out. Anyway, just let me know. If you ever have any questions, feel free to reach out in the game. We're in uh, Region 164, and it uh, shouldn't be too hard to track, track us down after that. So, yeah, please, by all means, feel free to reach out if you ever have any questions, man. By all means.
we go. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna yell at somebody for healing though. 68, that's the region they're from. Okay, I'll have to look at that. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Well, that kind of wraps that up. I'm going to get some food going, get, uh, get the little one kind of situated with anything else you might need for the afternoon, get some uh, some stuff done around the house, so then uh, come March Blago time, then hopefully stream that stuff straight off the bat. So, anyways, appreciate you guys all being here. Um, and I guess I will see you guys in a few hours. GG's, everyone.